Hello, welcome back to KL Gamers. Today we will continue to play Fantasian on the Apple Arcade. I'm playing on new iPad 2020. Okay, what shall we do today? Head to Ed's house. Where is his house really? Okay. Every day, nothing but fish. Sometimes, for a treat, I close my eyes and pretend it is an omelet instead. A customer, really? Please buy anything you like. My shop depends on it. Potion S. Eater S. Eater S is rather. Useful, I say. Phoenix Feather, Houston, Energy Drink. Oh, I got so many of these. Hard Shell is nice. Oh, it's expensive. Hard Shell. 800. But this is cheap. Earth Fragment is cheap. 80. So, if I sell the hard shell, how much do I get? Oh, battery I get 500. Oh, hard shell I get 500 as well. Holy fragment. Hard shell, battery, regular chip, chaos soon, crafting material. Weapons, okay. Buy. Eh, not much I can buy. Need two of this. Hello. Oh, what's that? Those guards will throw us right back in jail if we get any closer. Okay, okay. Okay. Anything here? No. Hello. I know the outskirts look dreary, but it's home to the best item workshop in the whole kingdom. If you can imagine it, they can make it. Oh. Fire fragment 10. Hmm. Hello. One of these days I'm gonna live in a town center. Oh, I've been here before. Hmm, gotcha, turn. You're not getting out of this alive. Oh, turn, we meet again. Stay out of this if you want to live. Tough guy, eh? I'm gonna hide. Tell me when it's over. Whoever you are, we'll go through you to get turn if we gotta.
Ho ho! It's crazy. What's this? Steel. Garlamash. Hot shell. Mm. Okay. What's this? Golf slash. Spirit Beast Golf ex executes a piercing non elemental attack that deals damage to enemies along a straight line. Costs HP. Desperation. Greatly increases own attack in exchange for greatly de decreased defense. Oh. Poison Nido. Inflicts poison on a single target. Fight Garlamus Crimson Bandit War. Ooh, rather strong, eh? Okay, let's try. Whoa, super buff. Oh. Very nice buff, eh? Oh ho! Garlamash. Oh, Crimson Bandit Shaman. Eat her ass, nice. Delay Smash. Ho ho ho! Fire, super buff. It's crazy, man. Golf slash. Oh. Oh. This is really good. Potionous. War cry. Oh. 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 Insane, man. Okay, better get serious now. Uh, fire slash. Okay. Aha, we. Fire. Here. Fire slash. Oh, weak. Oh, man, give me some potion. Uh, maybe potion, potion S. Oh, ho. Golf slash. I like this. Haha. Super buff. Mm -hmm. First aid. Haha. Potion X. Golf Slash. Uh -huh. Super Buff. Uh, let's see. Uh, fire Slash, maybe? Ah, nice. <laughs> okay, here we are. Hello. Let me do some stealing. Nothing to steal. Oh yeah. Fine.
Let's see. Uh, first aid. Potion is. Fight. Uh -huh, first aid. Oh ho! Victory! Eterel potion is not bad, not bad. Sorry for getting you involved again. He wasn't here either. You're still looking for Adolfo. Dear, let's go, Golf. Thanks for the help. Oh, that's all? Hardy. Oh, we got ease back. So, so, so. Hello. Diamond S. Oh, what do we get here? Something here. Hard shell. Mm, nice. Hello, kids. Oh, this we got a mission. Hey, would you help me to find a shiny seashell? It is for my mom. Oh, I close storage almost so uh, okay, okay. Next time, bro. She's not feeling good, but I think a pretty shell could would cheer her up. Quest: picking up shells. Okay. Pick up yellow striped shell, yeah, why not? Oh, let's shoot him. Give her the seashell, yeah. Did you find a seashell for my mom? Oh, let me see how pretty it is. Yellow striped shell. Um, it is not bad. But I'm looking for a pretty, not pretty normal. Oh, this is gonna take a really special seashell to cheer my mom up oh you sure are picking yellow striped seashell okay anything else here let's see oh swap the shell you already have for round blue shell yeah why not Anything else here? Yeah. <clears throat> Swap the shell. You already have a white star shell. Yeah. Anything else here? Ooh. Swap the shell. You already have a jet black shell. White star shell. <laughs> Okay, let's show her the wild star shell at least. You do find a seashell for my mom. Oh, let's see how pretty it is. This may look rare to you city folks, but it is pretty common around here. I need you to bring me a really special she seashell for my mom. Oh, you're really picky, man. Uh, maybe the black one. Pick up jet black shell, yeah. I bet you've never seen a black one before. Did you find a seashell for my mom? Oh, let me see how pretty it is. Jet black shell. Is it is this what you call pretty? Have you been standing a little too close to the magisteria? 
Well, mom always says there's no accounting for taste. What? That's all? Okay. Jet black, no. This white, no. The yellow and the blue. Ah, oh, you're so picky. Let's see what we have here. Work hard, they say, and anyone can get rich. It is the vibrant dream. Turns out that's a lie. I will probably end up living in the outskirts for the rest of my life. Oh, why are there chickens in the room, man? Eh? There is a note stuck inside this book. How to make the perfect omelette. Mix the eggs right, that is all it takes. Wait, doesn't this signature belong to Sid from the sorry eyes? Oh, maybe it's Sid's room, eh? This bowl is splattered with thick yellow liquid. Somebody's been stirring it. Okay. 25 gear. Oh, come on. 25, really? Gotta give me more. This bowl is splattered with a thick yellow liquid. Somebody's been stirring it. Okay, nothing else here. Hello. Business is booming thanks to the guild. Hey, hey, hey. Seriously. Round blue shell. Okay. Maybe this is special. Did you find a seashell for my mom? Oh, let me see how pretty it is. No. Well, you got a pretty part right. But this isn't even a real seashell. It has to be a real one, okay? Oh, come on. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Is house workshop. Okay. Wow. Is your bear? Welcome home, I'm so glad. Glad to have you back, big bro. Guys, guys, one at a time. What's going on here? Big bro, they are all your siblings. E yeah, well, kinda. Ah, yes, you are back safe. Hey, pops, uh, what are you doing out bed? I thought I heard your voice, so I had to come and see. Oh, why this is so eerie. Those lousy goodies have been hanging around here again. I wish, uh, I sure wish they would just go away. We are all relieved to see his face again. I'm so glad he is back. Oh, you have a quest? Hey buddy, been meaning to ask, uh, can I see that thing on your hip? You mean the dimension machine? Whoa, seriously impressive. You can tell just by looking at it. I don't know the details, but I know spiffy tag when I see it, buddy. Oh, huh, wait a sec. This gap right here is kind of weird. It looks like another one of these parts is supposed to go in it. Anyone know this good eye kid? As this, as Big Bro, I'm his best student. If you let me take a closer look at these parts, I bet I can whip you another. 
I'm gonna need, uh, let's see, a battery and a magic crystal. Could you pick them up for me, buddy? Oh, true dimension. Ooh, give items, magic crystal. Yeah. Thanks. That's uh, almost everything. Oh, right, I forgot to mention. Uh, there's one more thing I need from the Royal Capital Tower Center. Wow, so specific, eh? Okay, now you can only get it at this top secret swap spot. So, take this ticket. Flash the thing and our friends there will tell you where to go. Do ticket. Ooh. Find our friends in the royal capital and they will tell you where to go. I need you to bring me something called a circuit board DX. There's a lot of items that look just like it, so don't get it mixed up. Okay. What is it again? I need you to bring me to something called Circuit Ball DX, okay. I can't wait for Big Bro to teach us all the crafting tips he learned out there. I'm so glad he is back, okay. Okay. Certainly there's treasure here. Flying axe. Ooh. Okay, hello. My name is uh, Dagaroon. I run this item workshop. Dagaroon. My children and I can't thank you enough for saving our ease. Honestly, he kind of saves us. Aye, who to say, who saves who, call it a mutual rescue. Don't give yourself too much credit, Geezer, who sprung the lock. Ah, oh, well. Either way, thank you for seeing him back here safely. So, these kids are all yours, old timer? Well, not by blood, but they are my children all the same. Orphans are sadly common sight here in the outskirts, I am afraid. I do my best to look after them. I see. So you have taken them all in. They are the light of my life. Light of your life, eh? Even is. I adore them all dearly. Here in this item bookshop, I teach them my trade. Many of my children have gone on to become renowned across people. And Isio happens to be the best apprentice I've ever had. In fact, he may have very well surpassed me already. He's a true genius, he is. Oh, Pops, you're making me blush. Is that so? Genius craftsman, eh? Big Bro, come here, we need you now. What is it this time? Can't do anything by themselves. I can't repay Yis for the trouble he's gone through for the workshop. Truth to be told, he was essentially arrested so that the rest of us wouldn't be. How did Yis get arrested anyway? You see, there's a large association of item makers and sellers in the capital. They are known as the Gear. Sounds omnibus. And the Gear often copies our inventions and sell them under their own label. But the Gear's products are shoddy Im imitations of the children's work. He's run a foul of them, so, and so the Gear accused is of copying one of their designs, which was, of course, his own. The royal police got involved, but they didn't listen to anything we had to say. Oh, if only Princess Cheryl had been there, 
Like she was before, and this never would have happened. Cheryl. I know it sounds strange, but Princess Cheryl personally saved us before. It was quite a surprise for us too, uh, to think that Princess would take our side. She went wow to expose the girl's uh, fraudulent activity someday. A real princess of the people. I never would have guessed. <coughs> the light is so. Is we we got trouble. The guild's coming. Sir is snap out of his chair. He looked out of the window of the workshop, and saw a number of grown-up shadows approaching. He watched a few audacious men help themselves to the item arranged around the shop. Everyone at the outskirts item workshop knew how oppressive the merchant's guild from the capital could be. They also knew how much abuse their mother's workshop, built by Dagarun and the children with the passion and care, had suffered at the guild's hands. Hey, don't touch this. That is bravely worse in vain. One of the men threw an item to the ground, crash. It landed with a defining crunch. Crunch. Hey, yes. One especially vicious looking guild member called out to the boy, his face a mask of contempt. Dagaron still sick? What? You here to deliver a get well card or something? Yeah, something like that. The man grinned for a moment, then whistled. At this signal, a band of royal police rushed into the workshop. Weapons in hand, they quickly encircled as and the other children. Why? What are the police doing to the guild? Though hesitant at first, he is now shouted to defend his comrades. What kind of scam are you running here? You are the ones running a scam, you brat. What? The guild members now mill around the workshop, moving dramatically as if putting on a performance. We are reported you to the royal police. They know you have been uh, plagiarizing pattern guild designs and making tons of money of us. Now we are here to make sure justice is served. But that's nonsense. His fists trembling with rage. You have got it completely backwards. Listen, it is a guild that has been copying our stuff. The guild copies our items and sells defective ripoffs. This took one of the items crafted by the children and held it up. Look closely, this is one of ours, it is crafted with care. It is handed item to the captain of the police. <coughs> I see, yes, this is, should be all the proof we need. He is not confidently at the captain's words, but then the captain looked towards the gathered guild members and winked before he continued. This sure seems to support the guild's claims. Hey, wait a minute. What are you saying? Our items are the real thing. He scrambled desperately for another item to show the officers. Please take a closer look. But the royal police continue to ignore the pleas of the children. Sirs, Perhaps this is going a bit too far. Dagarun coughed as he stepped slowly into the room. Hops, no, don't come in here. He ran over to Dagarun. The old man laid a gentle hand on the boy's shoulder. 
then step forward in front of the guild and the police. If you must interrogate someone, take me. I'm the one who put the children to work. They were only following my instructions. But a guild member curtly raised a hand to cut off Dragoon's words. You just love to cause trouble for the Queendom, eh, Dragoon? There's nothing but loo lives here in the outskirts. You have got that right. Children or not, distributing, distributing such defective rubbish throughout the Queendom is crime. That mustn't unpunished, a royal police officer shamelessly replied. He felt his feet shake with rage once more. Dagarun taught the children of the outskirts how to craft items as a means of survival. He would always say the using of their own talents for the sake of others would be eventually come back around to help them. For many of the outskirts' children, Dagarun's workshop was the only place they belonged. I knew it, you are all in on it together. They bribe you, didn't they? Only crooked cops could, would get it into it with the guild like this. Stop it is, Dagarun said quietly, but this is all wrong. Is desperately pleaded with Dagarun. If you all be okay, leave everything to me. But Pops, you are not well. Please don't do this. I won't let them take you away from here. Never. Stay back, is. I need you to look after the other children. Said Dagarun firmly. This item workshop is hereby seized by Queendom of Vibra. And Rich is pulled an item from a nearby shelf. You lying guilty rats. Is threw the item hard at one of the officers. You brat, that's obstruction of police operations. A police officer grabbed Is by his arm and lifted him up. Stop it, let go of Is. The other children began to follow Is in protesting against the adults. They sent a volley of items towards the guild members and police, which burst and sparkled in the air over their grown-up heads. Stop this at once. A dignified voice, unlike the roars of the doves and the cries of the children, echoed through the room. The voice belonged to a young woman, yet it was commanding enough to suppress the commotion in an instant. She walked to the center of the workshop. The young woman had never been seen in the outskirts before. However, there was no mistaking who she was. She stood gallantly and alone, without any guards around her. Princess Cheryl One of the police officers gasps. Though he'd heard her name, he's had never seen Princess Cheryl in the flesh before. Though he would heard her name, he's had never seen Princess Cheryl in the flesh before. Can you stand? Cheryl asked as she reached down to the boy, yeah. The princess proved his back to his feet with white gloved hands. Are you ready? The princess. I am, she replied. A sudden someone suggested I spend more time out among my people. So here I am. Uh, it appears there are indeed many things of which I am unaware. Cheryl smiled at the children. I believe what you say. I have always thought that the Queendom should better credit the craftsmanship of the outskirts. Share Princess Cheryl, the reasons he could, couldn't express. 
Sherrod was brought east to Tunes. Princess Cheryl's mere presence had rendered everybody else in the workshop speechless. I've also heard reports of defective items in the kingdom. However, judging by the quality of the items in this workshop, it is clear to me which side is telling the truth. The gathered guild members attempt to stammer an explanation, but Cheryl cut them off with an order. Ooh. Withdraw at once. Royal police, you are to leave as well. I will not permit such a farce as this. A beautiful light shone out of the princess. Filling every corner of the workshop as she issued her resolute commands. At least so it seems to is. My workshop still stands thanks to Princess Cheryl. But once she was out of the castle, the guild returned with the police. I see. Relax, they will put me in the Coliseum and I will come home with loads of cash. Then he laughed and said he would say hello to the princess for us. Cheryl, I mean Princess Cheryl, is being held captive right now. We are on our way to rescue her. What was that? Princess Cheryl is in trouble. Why didn't you say so before? I'm coming with you to save Cheryl. Who else? I owe her big time. Take it true, kiddo. Uh, she was just doing her duty as a princess. That's not true. It's more than that. Princess Cheryl is on our side. I know she really likes us. Ha, ah, someone's got a crush. Cram it, you filthy old man. I don't expect Brady is a princess type, kiddo. Captain Grow is listen. If we're gonna find Cheryl, we need to fix this warp device first. Is that all? Hand it over, I will have it done in no time. No, we need more than just skill to fix this. We need the toy box. And together, we need to get to my house, which is somewhere in the city. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get going right now. Wait, how do you not remember where your own house is? There's a lot of things I don't remember. Whoa, you got amnesia. I thought the geezer was uh, useless, but you really take the cake. The filter between your brain and your mouth could uh, use some repairs. <laughs> Anyways, Princess Cheryl's wedding up at your house is in the town center. Luckily, a dark a tunnel that leads us right there to test a new invention. Follow me. We will get there in no time. Oh. Here it is, go on now. Down the hole. Let's get to your house, fix your warp device and save Princess Cheryl. We should be able to grab some shut eye here. We should have to rest. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we have been healed. Nice. Hello. Please keep me safe for us. Okay, why not? Push an S. Nine. Wow, so many. Hey, what about seashells? Any seashells? Seashells? Ooh. 
the this barrel looks like it can be removed. Okay, seashells here. Ooh, pick up the iridescent shell S. Yes. Ooh. Can I use this? Oh, this is key item. Cannot. This is quest item. Okay. Oh, did you find a seashell for my mom? Oh, let me see how pretty it is. Irid iridescent shell -ass. Wow, that is pretty. My mom will definitely feel better when she sees this. Thank you so, so much. Metallic shell 1. Clear picking up shells. So we got a metallic shell for what? Like we can use it. What is it for? Quest item? Oh come on. A seashell given to Liu at a beach near the outskirts. As the name suggests, it is very hard, it may come in handy as material for making weapons. Metallic shell. Okay. Let's have a save here. Can we battle here? Oh, dimension on. Battle sword. Fire slash. Oh. Okay. Fight. Okay. Attack boost. Punch. Oh. Fire slash. Check boots. Fight. Zero. Antidote. Fight. Oh. -ho. Oh, 
Huh, <laughs> call for backup? Seriously. Nothing to see. Punch. Victory. Okay. Okay, thanks for watching, we will continue next time.